Welcome to the weekly vlog. Happy Saturday, guys. We are having a bit of a reset day today, if you will. I did sleep the fuck in because it's 11.30. I woke up at about 10.30, but I've just had my coffee and I'm currently writing out a grocery list. If you are a new viewer, hello, my name's Adele. I post a couple videos a week. I'm a vlogger. I like to overshare and just, yeah, bring you guys along with me. Some of you say this is like a FaceTime. I love that for us. If you are a returning sub, I love you. Thank you for coming back. I love you all. I love you guys. Please subscribe if you haven't. Please like this video. Please leave me a comment. I will always reply to you. But yeah, today is the weekend before I go back to work. I was gonna say work because I am going back to work, but there's a part of me that might like go down the beach and stay there for a few days. So that might happen. But today we are washing the bed sheets. I don't remember the last time I washed them. First time I'm washing them all year. And then we are cleaning and then we're doing the grocery shopping. So I'm just trying to write out a grocery list. So I'm gonna look up some meal ideas now. Why is it so hard to figure out what the fuck to eat? Okay, here is the vibe today, guys. I am not going to the gym or doing a walk, but I am doing housework and the groceries and it's gonna be a hot day. So I I just want to wear these. It's very comfy. It's like that lounge set. I've made brekkie, but I'm eating it. And I've written out the whole shopping list, which I'm really happy about. So we're having pasta tomorrow night, burgers on Monday night, chicken tacos on Tuesday night. I'm going to try and make pad seal on Wednesday night. And then Thursday we'll do the stuffed sweet potatoes. I'm literally writing it on my prescription. Well, it's an address for the IUD doctor that the other doctor gave me. But we're starting the new pill today. So I'm excited to vlog and I guess see what changes we have it is a higher dosage so if it fucks with my mental health or i don't know reacts badly i'll be able to see <laughs> and so will you guys and if it doesn't work i will get the iud i think with the iud what i was just scared about was just the thought of having something up there <laughs> apparently it's less hormonal because it's closer to the area like the hormones are closer to the area you're not just sending it all over your body anyway i'm gonna try the pill for now and i think i might give it well i bought a whole box i didn't get a repeat i think i should just give it till the end of the box now that i've got it so that's like three months worth and i guess we can revisit around March, which will be near my birthday. I gotta get into vacuuming. I wanna vacuum and mop and dust everything because I want it to be clean for when mum and dad come home tomorrow. The house has been vacuumed, mopped, everything is still almost dry. I've just popped the AC on. Our aircon is evaporative, so it doesn't really do well when it gets over 30 degrees, and I think it's over 30 degrees now. But we are about to go do the groceries. So I'm gonna grab my list, I'm gonna grab my phone charger, and we are gonna go. Mummy will be back shortly, sweetheart. Groceries are done. I did it in record time. And I'm really impressed with myself. I also treated myself to a bubble tea, which cannot wait to open. Also, my car is so dirty. Lucky for this, because there's fucking sand everywhere. And I need to wash it, but I've never washed a car in my life. And so I'm gonna get my dad to teach me, which is low key embarrassing. But you know, I'll give you guys, actually, I'll put the um, grocery shop on TikTok. Oh my God, all right. Groceries are all away. I unpacked them on a live with you guys on TikTok. And I also just ate this, the tomato on the live as well. I cracked some fresh salt. Salt can't be fresh. I cracked some salt on it and uh, it was really good. <laughs> I feel bad. Maybe I should have saved that first tomato for Carla to share with me. Anyway, hopefully there's another one there tomorrow or the next day by the time she's home. But it is nearly dinner time, guys. So I don't know what to eat. I don't know what to get, but I am gonna make something. I'm gonna order something. I'm not gonna make something. That's what I meant to say. We're just gonna have a chill night in. Franklin, can you please Please stop being a naughty boy. He's just been so naughty just then. Before I even do anything, you know what I'm doing? Going and getting my clothes, not my clothes, my sheets are off the clothes horse. We're off the clothes line. What's wrong with me? I forgot that they were out there, but at least they'll be like crunchy, fresh. And then I'm gonna make the bed and maybe then I have a shower because I'm gonna be sweaty. Like this is how hot and sunny it is in my room right now. I've got the AC on, but look at that. I think I should make it now. I'm fully sweating doing this, guys. Fuck her out. It's hot in here. It doesn't even feel like this. The aircon's on. Hi Frank, mommy's doing this. She can't pick you up right now. I'm so sorry. Anyway, sometimes I think to myself, I should just hire someone to make my bed. It is the one job I hate. Give me a vacuum, give me a mop, let me scrub, let me scrub the toilet for fuck's sake. This, I just cannot. Frank, you're gonna get hurt if you stay there because mummy is about to flick this everywhere. He's trying to jump on my bed. I've moved the ramp so he can't get to it. Oh, now he's just left. <laughs> Is that a spider leg? It looks just like a bit of the leaf. They were on the line, okay? So never be too sure. Could be a fucking spider in him. 
Franklin's very confused why his ramp is there and he's sitting on it. What are you doing, buddy? Mummy's gonna put it back in a second. I have to obviously move. It usually sits there so he can get up. Not yet, mummy's making the bed. I'm so sorry. I'll be two seconds. Give mummy two seconds. Oh, he's so cute. We got there, thank goodness. And I've lit my favorite candle. This is my favorite one right now. The cactus flower one that I showed you last week. I, don't, I never light the decorative ones, but I probably should, hey. Anyway, the house is not clean until you light the candle. I've also finally had enough of this. I ordered another one off Amazon today, so this one is going in the fucking bin. It's just, it's just not, not the vibe anymore. So yeah, let's go chuck it out. I'm ordering dinner. I think I might also water the garden before I get it. I'm ordering from a different place and I'm scared because it's always a risk ordering from a different place. I'm getting honey chicken, special fried rice and steamed prawn dumplings from a Chinese restaurant that I've never ordered from in my area. I'm hungry as fuck, guys. It says 15 to 30 minutes, really quick. Should I start watering the garden? It's 7.30, I bet I could. Maybe I'll do that. Garden all done. I'm having a little pre-dinner snack. My Uber Eats is literally on the way, but it's nearly eight o'clock and I can't wait. So I'm just gonna have an LCM. Just one, that's it. Just a little something, something, just to tie me over for the next 10 minutes. Watering that garden is like a bloody part-time job, guys. I love doing it. They ripped me off with the chalk chips. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I wonder if it'll be hot tomorrow. Now I'm so nervous because I've not ordered from here before. Oh, actually, I think I might film it that for TikTok. I will come back when I'm eating for you guys. Fuck, I'm scared. It better be good. If it's bad, I will order pads for you from the Thai place. I'll do another order if it's bad. Oh my gosh, guys. I nailed it. This place is good. I feel like this place will become a regular delivery Uber Eats place for me. Mm. I got their chili oil, which is so delicious. That was my entree. Here is the main. The only thing I would say, I could have a little bit more honey on the honey chicken. But it's still a vibe. I also didn't feel like alcohol, so I'm just gonna have a Sprite in the glass with that lemon and ice, just so I can feel a little bit fancy, if you will. And that's gonna be my drink tonight. I just was not in the um, mood for alcohol. Even though it was just one drink that I would have each night, I just didn't want to get into a habit of having alcohol every single night. Mm. Cheers, guys. So satisfied after eating that and look how much I still have for leftovers. Done. I'm excited because my family will probably be able to try this tomorrow because we've never ordered from there individually or as a family. And so I can't believe I found another restaurant in the area. <laughs> Freshly washed hair, fresh pajamas, fresh bed sheets, and my candle burning beautifully. It smells like heaven in my room, guys. I'm also moisturized from head to toe. Skincare's done. I've still got these pesky ass little pimples, but I'm feeling fresh and I'm feeling so nice. The best. There's an old version of me that would have been getting ready to go out right now. <laughs> And there's nothing wrong with if that's how you want to spend your Saturday night. But now I'm like, fuck, never in a million years. You couldn't even pay me because this feels so much better. So much better. <laughs> I think I might watch some TV with Frank before we go to bed. And this is probably my last, well, tomorrow's my last day of holidays. But this is a productive resetting kind of day. And I'm here for it. I've just put Franklin in his crate. He hasn't slept in the crate for over a week. Are you all right in there? He wouldn't give me a kiss. He would not give me a kiss. I've got to do it because I don't want him to become too attached in the sense that like that helped with him not having, what do you call it, separation anxiety. And the line is very blurred now because I work from home all the time. My mum works from home. Um, and I just noticed some behaviors, especially this week. Like when my sister left, he was fully crying. I was still home. He was crying at the door when she left. And I don't know if he cries when I'm not here. I don't have a camera inside the house. I've never had a complaint from our neighbors, but he also cries when, like when we saw my mom at the beach the other day, he was crying for her. Like, I just feel like he's becoming very attached to everybody, which is not a bad thing, but I just think I need to start building that separation again. So no more bed sleepovers. I said to myself, when I go back to work, when we get back into routine, that's what we're gonna do. And I'm just easing him into it. So tonight he's in the crate, tomorrow night he might be with me again, and then we'll go back to the crate. So just wean him back into it. I'm sure he'll be fine in the morning. He probably won't even want to get out of the bed. It's fine. I just love him so much. I want to make sure that like he feels good. I don't like to know that he's crying or that he's upset. But oh, there's a fucking mosquito in here. Okay. Good night, guys. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> good morning. 
Happy Sunday, guys. Shout out to Sarah who just DM'd me. I uploaded the wrong footage of my YouTube video for my podcast this morning because when I pre recorded everything, I knew I was going to make a mistake. I'm just giving Franklin his breakfast. I haven't brushed my teeth either. I've still got my container in. Oh, I need a coffee. <laughs> I also had the worst sleep of my life because I had a nightmare again about an ex boyfriend, but it wasn't to do with me. It was an ex boyfriend and Franklin, and I had a dream that he sewed Franklin's eyes shut and he had taken Franklin away from me for some reason. It was, a, it was a fucking nightmare. And then I got Franklin back and he wasn't opening his eyes and I was like, what the fuck? And then I full, I woke up at 5 a.m. and I fully searched the meaning of that dream. And it was like something about not wanting to see something or like I'm moving to a different phase of life. It doesn't, doesn't have anything to do with Franklin or the ex, it's to do with me, but what the fuck? And then when I just woke him up, I was like, rubbing his face like oh thank god you're all right i actually felt sick like i was so angry in my dream that i was like crying and like heaving you know like when you're like really really in your feels and you're like <gasps> like that's how i was anyway let's have a freaking coffee let's sort out this podcast mess let me make sure i uploaded the right file to fucking spotify and apple I love having food outside, coffee outside, anything outside while the weather's nice. I don't know what I'm going to do today. Part of me is like, just finish that mood board, get everything ready for the week ahead, figure out when you can go down to the beach. I got everything I, done, I needed yesterday. I only did two gym sessions last week. Probably have to do that again. Prioritize the gym. I just sculled that coffee. I still got a bit left, but all right, that was so good. I made it so nice. I'm not off them. I just said I was because I wasn't making them properly. <laughs> Franklin just drank that entire bowl of water. Are you all right? You must be thirsty. All right, so the weekly vlog is up and ready to go. I do the last like final watch of it and I've just filled out all the like title description stuff and I'm looking at the responses from my podcast questionnaire. So I'm going to link it again in this vlog. If you guys listen to the podcast and you haven't filled it out, I really would love if you fill it out because it gives me like a better understanding of the podcast listeners. We've only had 304 responses, which I I know you have to put in an email to do it, but I would really love it if you could do it because it's so interesting. I am finding so much more information out about you guys, where you live, how old you are, how many podcasts you listen, listen to, how often you listen to my podcast, when you're listening. Like, it's just really, really cool. Oh, love it. It's so cool. And you guys can add in your own responses and stuff. Love it. Oh, so fill it out if you haven't. I'm going to quickly go for a walk. It's too hot to take Franklin. And then... Then when I come back, I don't know what I'm doing today. I'm just really enjoying the silence for the last day while I've got it because everyone comes home today. So I have been really soaking it up, but I do miss them. I'll never tell them that now. I will tell them that. I have missed them. <laughs> All right. This is the walk vibe, guys. I feel like it's appropriate <laughs> for the weather. The only thing I will say is I feel like the crop is a bit too short. Like there's a lot of exposed stuff in there but it's fine it's hot so it's totally fine i'm not taking franklin and i might come back really sweaty i probably will be really sweaty when i get back <laughs> oh my god i am sweating so badly I'm also really hungry. Quick snack before I make a tuna roll. I love white nectarines. So I got a delivery from Amazon. I think it's my tripod and whatever else I bought. So I'm gonna open that on TikTok. I ordered it yesterday. Why is it so quick? My bread roll is falling apart. And I think it's cause I got it yesterday. So it's not super fresh, but still delicious. I really feel like a chiller or a juice. And I do need to go to the shop to buy poo bags. And I also need to take him to get his nails cut. Is today the day I wanna do that? I don't know, but this tastes so good. Mm. Be real. Again. Perfect. I just unboxed all my Amazon stuff and oh my god, I'm impressed. Look at this light for starters. Let me turn it up. That's pretty good. Let me just show you. Like, obviously the daylight is out at the moment, but that's pretty good. And then it comes with this clip. So if I want to clip it to my phone, but like that. Oh! I'm so happy. This is a game changer. She's stepping up her content game. This is how long the tripod is. It's 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 the same height as me, which is actually fucking like perfect. And I opted for the light and this instead of a ring light just because I couldn't find any that I liked. But now I just need to figure out how I get my phone to attach. <laughs> I was thinking I was doing something wrong because I didn't know where that went, but that's actually for a GoPro, which I don't have. But anyway, I am really, really impressed with this 
tripod. So far it feels quite sturdy, but let me play around with it. Let me give you until the end of this vlog to give you my review on it because it's really hard to find tripods or ring lights that actually last, especially if you are filming in it every single day, which I do. And the other one lasted the longest that I've ever had one and I'm spewing that they don't make it anymore. So I'm hoping this one and the light pulls me through. My parents are home. Franklin just jumped off me. We're on the couch. He scratched my fucking leg, but I'm going to show you his reaction. And this is what I mean by the crying. He's already just started. You'll see them in a second. <laughs> Ready? <gasps> there you go. Hey, to you. Georgia. Come in here, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my puppy. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my love. <laughs> oh, my little squeal. No need to cry, Frank. Oh, look his back. Look his back. Don't worry what about the old man? What, you... what about me? What about me? <laughs> Aww. Aww. Sorry. You more, honey. Oh, my God. Say hello to Papa. There we go. Oh, my God. One of you. No squealing, but. Don't jump on me. It's all right. Don't jump on the jumping. Jump, 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 jump. Relax. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. Sleeping beauties. I'm going to hang out there washing. My mum just came and put a load on and she fell asleep. So I'll hang out. And then I might go for another walk because they ate lunch at 3.30. And they're not hungry for dinner. And I'm going to make dinner tonight because I didn't want them to have to worry about cooking after driving back from the beach and being on holidays. I'm starting to cook. I don't care. Boil that water. That's not enough. I'm just topping up the pot. With that, with this recipe, it's the vodka pasta. Always boil your water first because that pasta, the rigatoni takes so long to cook. So we can leave that and I'm going to get to chopping up the veggies. I'm chopping the onions and they're making me cry. I actually hate chopping all garlic and all onions because it makes your fingers smelly. But I heard that if you rub it on like the kitchen sink, the stainless steel sink, it stops that from happening. Anyway, I'm just chopping up my onions and garlic and I'm going to get to getting the dinner on. I'm going to cook the garlic bread in the air fryer too. Can't do everything at once. Look what I did to the garlic bread. It's really freaking crispy. <laughs> but the pasta came out good. Of course it did. <laughs> this basil is from our garden. And look, we're eating the burnt bread. Is it that bad, Dad? No, I'm not going to complain because you made dinner. Mom. Anyway, I just wanted some more basil because I ate all mine already. It's so good. I did wash it as well. There you go, Carla. I think a bug ate that one. No, it's not that bad. It just tastes like crunchy bread, hey? Mm, just like taste toast. Mm. Yeah, just <laughs> no garlic. Just did a last minute walk, a last minute walk, a little walk because I'm a bit anxious about everything starting back up again. I almost just feel like maybe I needed another week break, but I'm also just keen to get back into it. I'm so excited to record a podcast. I am taking another week off YouTube in the sense that I'll just do a vlog this week, not a second video. I might go back to second video next week, I think, because I've got something exciting happening. But yeah, I think my mind's just gone into overdrive about thinking about everything I want to do. Just took myself for walk I'm gonna have a shower and then we're gonna do a review and then i'm going to go to bed because i'm gonna try and wake up early tomorrow and go to the gym and get back into a routine yeah i think i'm just stressed because i let the routine slip so much it's gonna be okay <laughs> loving 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 that rice wash from toucha all right we're gonna use my new light for the review and we're reviewing the hot cross buns we did the hot cross bun review and i really liked it i feel like it's a nice savory alternative also i'm so happy that my parents are home like so happy i'll explain why in a second because i didn't really tell you guys this while they were gone but i get really scared when i'm in the house by myself how do i put this when i lived with my ex in sydney um the end of that relationship went pretty sour and i felt very unsafe in the house for a long time and i feel like it's left me with like some issues in terms of like being by myself being by myself in an empty house i just panic a little bit and so i've like not really slept super well and i think it's a combination of like being on holidays and then being away i was just really staying up late until i was physically like couldn't stay awake anymore before going to bed and i'd check everything was locked like a hundred times and i kept thinking bad things were gonna happen to me so they're home now so i feel safe i feel like i can sleep peacefully tonight and i'm really excited about that which yeah that was going through my head as well so she's a bit insane but i also got bitten by a huge mozzie on my knee can you see this lump here yeah we love that and what else i'm gonna go to bed because tomorrow we are going back to work and i'm like i'm excited but i'm also i've also got sunday scaries and i saw this person post about it on their tiktok on their instagram story saying oh who's feeling the sunday scaries and a lot of people were and then she went on to say how she wasn't feeling it because she works a job that she loves i fucking love my job Don't 
don't get me wrong. Also, I love holidays. I love doing nothing as well. I think both things can be true. I think you can love your job. I think you can not even love it and still get the Sunday scaries or love it and get the Sunday scaries. I think it's just like a normal thing to experience, especially after holidays. And I've had a nice break, but I am keen to get back into it. And I think what's stressing me is the overwhelming amount of stuff I've got in my brain that I want to get out. But it's good because now my brain's thinking of things. Whereas in the end of 2022, I was just so preoccupied and busy that I couldn't think about stuff. So I've had the space to think about it, which is really nice. And yeah, that makes me happy, but still a bit overwhelming. But anyway, back to reality tomorrow. And I think I might even do like a hybrid week where I go down the beach and work from there for a few days. But if I do that, that means I've got to get the podcast recorded before I leave. So I might have to record on Tuesday. Anyway, I'm just thinking out loud. But good night. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay, so this vlog, good morning. Happy Monday is going to be me trying to get back into fucking routine. <laughs> Very grateful that I work for myself and no one's going to tell me off for waking up at 9am, but annoyed. I mean, I did have the best sleep last night. I felt so relaxed and I just felt so peaceful and I felt so safe. And I think I probably need to chat to my therapist about that. See, that's why I love therapy. That's why I love doing self-work because so self-aware that I could see why I was so triggered being in the house by myself. And I guess that goes to show like after that relationship broke down, I went into therapy. If you listen to my mental health episode on the podcast it details a little bit what went on i kept it very high level because i didn't want to scare people but it was scary and after that i had to live with a housemate because i couldn't live by myself like i was so st i was terrified and then maybe i'm thinking is that a subconscious reason why i love living here now so much probably <laughs> anyway it's 9 a.m i'm having a coffee i just woke up we're going to the gym i think we're going to go today and tomorrow because i might be going to the beach from like wednesday to friday so if i do monday tuesday saturday sunday that's my four sessions i'm really eager to get my four sessions in but um let's get ready for the gym i think i need to take my own advice and just i tried to set my alarm for like 6 a.m after waking up at like 9 10 a.m 11 a.m every day last week so what an idiot i probably should have just set it for 8 30 and tried to do it the way that i would encourage you guys to do it so yeah let's pick a fit and head off all right guys we're gonna smash the workout i'm trying to be nice to myself i'm annoyed that i slept in but you know what i'm getting back in routine and i've got the luxury of working for myself so it's okay it's okay that you slept in i'm really annoyed the converse because we're going to be lifting i also washed these by the way i don't really like washing my shoes but they were so dirty so i've got to thread the shoelaces back so i can keep wearing them but i think i'm going to leave you here so i can upload the content for sam to the drive and i'll see you when i'm back oh my god that gym session was hard i'm about to call my coach and we're going to have a catch up this year to plan out like my workouts and what my goals are and i'm going to make some breakfast and then we ring him I love you, I missed you. He's so happy that my mum's home. He sits beside her all day while she works. Do you love me? If you love me, give me a kiss. <gasps> give me a kiss. Have a kiss, please. <gasps> there we go. Oh, you bit my nose. <laughs> Also, while I was away, this delivery came. I can't open it publicly yet because there's a sample in here. But I'm going to open it now and show mum. And then I'm going to show you mum's reaction. <laughs> mum got a phone call, so we're not going to do the unboxing now. I will also film it and put it in my drafts. And then after the launch date, I'll post my first reaction. But my brekkie's ready to go. And I'm just going to call Danny now. I haven't spoke to him properly in a little while. Oh, hello. Hello, how are you? I have the things on. Mum has seen them now. What are your thoughts? It's just beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. I can't wait for you guys to see it. <laughs> and for her to share. Oh my god, I'm so, so excited. I'm very sweaty because it's hot, but I just had a shower. Put on this fit. I'm having a leftover pasta for lunch. Carla's just got home. Look at Franklin. Are you excited? Are you excited? <gasps> <laughs> He loves you both. Oh, Frank. Okay, the pasta tastes better the next day, so make sure you make it if you haven't. Mum's eating hers now. Franklin is begging mum for some. Carla just looked at the garden. We had some plant casualties. She's not angry at me, but she's upset. And rightfully so. I did everything that she said. I just don't know why some died. I'm stressed. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to work. I did do some work before I showered and put on this bit. I just wanted to get in the summer vibe. This is a really old top as well, by the way. I forgot my jewelry though. Also feeling not that stressed because I'm on top of all my emails. I'm on top of the content. I've booked in the recording for tomorrow. I wasn't meant to record tomorrow. I was meant to record on like Thursday, but I think I will go to the beach tomorrow night and spend like Wednesday to Friday down there. Just a little solo getaway. I didn't realize how 
close that was to me. Anyway, I'm gonna do some more work and I've gotta see if I can take Franklin to the vet to get those nails cut because they are way too long. I just called this fridge guy and he knew exactly what was wrong with the fridge within like three minutes. Of course he would Adele because he's a specialist in his field. But he literally asked what was the brand. He goes, go and stand in front of it, what's the brand? And I told him, he goes, okay, your model number's on the bottom right hand side, open the freezer door. So I opened it and it was, it's actually beeping now. I'll show you what it sounds like in a second because my mum's just on a meeting. But fuck, he's like, okay. He's like, that's a new fridge. It could be under warranty. I said, it's not under warranty anymore. It had a 12 month warranty and it's, I bought it over 12 months ago. Then he's like, okay, I need to count the beeps. And so I counted the beeps. I said, oh, it's 16. And he goes, no, it's got to be 15 or 17. And then I counted it again and it was actually 17. So uh, there's a problem with the freezer. The fan is either faulty or the wiring needs to be rewired apparently which you know what I'm not surprised because I moved that fridge from Sydney to Melbourne I bought it in Sydney moved it back here and it sat in the garage for fucking months until the last fridge broke my parents fridge and so it probably aged or something fucking happened while it either moved or it was sitting there for so long but it's done us good this whole time and he's coming out tomorrow to fix it so one thing done also called a vet to cut Franklin's nails and she didn't have time so I'm gonna try a different vet it just takes 10 minutes but obviously they must be busy and I wish I could cut them myself but I'm too much of a little bitch honestly I'm too much of a little bitch because I'm scared I'm gonna hurt him I thought he was in here he's not in here <laughs> also just registered my Yeti bottle they sent me an email underneath there's like a QR code and there's a number for the bottle and they emailed me they emailed saying thanks for your purchase make sure you register your Yeti to activate your warranty we're dedicated to making some of the most durable product products on the planet but sometimes the unexpected happens so if there's an issue with your Yeti, make sure you have registered your product and we'll always have your back. I fucking love this company. Oh my god, it comes with a five year warranty. Slay. I actually told my dad I need to buy him one because I put ice cubes in this yesterday morning and in my defense I put the whole tray in so I think I put like 12 or 14 ice cubes and I still had ice cubes whole in there by like 5 p.m. They had shrunk obviously but just can't beat them. They're the best. All right, here is the fridge situation. Are you ready? I said it was making a weird noise the other day. Anyway, the guy had me stand here, count the beeps until it stopped. And that's how he figured out what was wrong with it. Wait, it's gonna stop in a second? Nearly, nearly. There we go, it's fucked. He said the smaller issue would only be $99. The bigger issue would be $350. But that's why we have an emergency account. Anyway, we're gonna go to Kmart now because I need to buy poo bags for little Frank and maybe some other things because when you go to Kmart, it's not just one thing. We are at Kmart. I am gonna go quickly grab the poo bags. We'll see what else I come out with. And I think I might have to buy a journal because mine's not ready yet. So yeah, I need to get onto that. A successful haul. Little Frank, these are for you, this one. And this one. <laughs> no, no, no need to chew it right now. Thank you though. I've trained him with the cardboard and now he thinks everything is like his own personal present. No, you can leave that one alone. Thank you. We're taking you to get your nails cut tomorrow. No need to chew this for mommy, okay? We are having burgers tonight, guys. We've got the little setup here, some onions, the meat in there, some greens. And we also have some chips happening. Yum. We are That's eating cool. dinner. Perfect weather for a burger. How good. Also, I was the last to eat. Everyone else is finished because I was trying to film, but so good. The onions make it. I like it. Oh my God. We didn't ask me anything tonight. Our first one of 2023. And I'm going to let Franklin sleep on my bed because I have no willpower. <laughs> I mean, look at him. Besties for life. Don't forget it, mate. I love you so much. I'm gonna say goodnight because I must sleep. I'm recording four podcast episodes tomorrow. I really liked the batch recording and I felt like I learned something from it. I don't know why I was just shooting you there. I'm so sorry. And so I've just planned out all the episodes and I've got a bit more planning to do on them in the morning before I head off, but I'm recording from 10 to 11 and then 11 to 12 because I've got the fridge guy coming at one. So I've got to be home by one. Anyway, good night, guys. I'm so happy that Ask Me Anything was beautiful just good energy in there and I got some good stuff out of it for the podcasts and I just love you guys I got some like really mean hate comments today and then it's like the polarity between the sweet messages and the sweet comments that you leave me blows my mind sometimes because it's like fuck you read the mean stuff and if it gets you on a bad day it can bring you down but then you read the good stuff and it can really lift you up and so I try to stay neutral but sometimes it's nice to read the nice stuff after reading the bad stuff so thank you I love you guys I love making content for you guys and I'm excited to get back into it this week. Franklin says he loves you too for making his mama very happy.
and now he's got his back to us. Sweet dreams. We had a 6 a.m. wake up and we're about to go for a walk, so let's quickly get ready. Hey, I can't believe I'm in pants. It's actually such a cool change this morning, which is probably better if I'm totally honest because it's getting a bit hot there. I need some socks. I've got to sort this fucking wardrobe out as well. He's like, Am I coming with you? Yes, you're coming with me. You are coming with me. I know. <laughs> One second, one second. I really need to buy him a new collar. I might do that when I go to the um, vet later. <laughs> I'm gonna take him to get his nails cut because this collar, well, his name tag has my old work phone number on it and my personal phone number as well. So I just don't ever want him to go missing and then people call the work number. Anyway, we're gonna have a coffee and we're gonna head out. I need to wash my hair, but I'm not going to because I'm gonna go to the beach. Mum's ready too. Mm -hmm. So nice. It wasn't too hot. Um, we found an apricot tree. Well, I saw it yesterday and I was like to mum, I think it's an apricot tree. And she's like, it is. But it belongs to somebody. So um, we obviously couldn't take any, even though I really wanted to. I just love apricots so much. I'm just looking for my charger because I realized we are recording today and I need to have a charge camera. I'm ready, guys. I've showered, had breakfast. About to head off. It's 9 a.m. I've got that jacket on again and I washed it because I got pasta sauce on it and it's crunchy again. Again. Also need to put petrol in Molly and we have to go because we need to be at the studio by 10. So let's head off. Happy to report I just filled up petrol again for the second time ever and it was $84 and I got it open like the petrol thing open the first time. I'm getting better guys. All right, let's go to the studio. I'm in the studio. I feel really nervous. Like I'm going to forget what I'm going to say. Oh, I think they did lower this for me. Is that better? I'm just trying to like not be so like have it covering my face because I think it was Michael who made a comment about that. Thank you for your feedback, Michael. I'm going to jump in. I'll be, I'll see you at the end. I'm going to record all of them and then I'll come back. Oh my God, I'm done. And holy shit. I recorded four podcast episodes and we've got to go home now because the fridge guy's coming. So let's go. <laughs> made it back in time for the fridge guy. I just ate the whole bag of Maltesers because he was, doing that in the kitchen. He emptied the hole for a fucking freezer. He checked it. Apparently, there's nothing wrong with it. It stopped beeping as soon as he opened it. I'm really annoyed. Anyway, the call-out fee was $99 and he goes, if it happens again, I have to come out again. I'm not going to charge you. But yeah, that's that. I'm feeling a bit brain dead after recording four podcast episodes because I did record four podcast episodes today. The reason for that is I liked bulk recording and yeah, I'm just going to try and batch edit as much as I can and try to keep ahead while Sam is away in February. I'm just trying to be an organized queen but I need to eat some real food and go to the gym I'm gonna do a gym session I think that's how I get my energy back if you're wondering why do you look like that Adele uh because last night I filmed content for that brand and I made a big mistake and it's my own fault I take full responsibility I didn't read the brief properly I said yes to this campaign the last week of December when I said to myself I was gonna say no because it was a January shooting and I thought I was doing the right thing by saying yes because I really wanted to do it for the brand because I think it's a good idea and I've fucked up the shooting of it so badly so yeah I'm really annoyed and I'm trying not to cry and I think I'm emotional because I haven't eaten lunch and it's now 3 30 and i'm gonna take franklin to get his nails cut and i feel like screaming i can't even tell you realizing that you've made a mistake like that after recording four podcasts like i feel like my brain's gonna explode and it's not that serious it's not that serious there are people out there with harder jobs i know that but i'm just really annoyed i need to eat got mr franklin i'm gonna go now he did not like the bed but we're gonna be all right okay he just woke up from a nap <laughs> we are back Little Mr. Dramatic literally screamed and wriggled and made it very hard for me to hold him while the groomer cut his nails. And that's why I can't do it by myself. Anyway, we did pick up a brand new little collar tag for him. As I said, the numbers were wrong. And then I got him a collar and a lead. So they all match his little harness. But let's take him out and let's take him inside. He's really hot in this car. I'm gonna pick you up right now. And I'll put on his new stuff, which I'm really excited about. So cute. We made our own pad seal. I'll put the recipe that I followed in the comments. It actually came out easier than I expected, but we need to do a taste test first. So I didn't film it because last time I filmed everything and then it ended up coming out like crap. Remember that time we tried that recipe? So I'm gonna see if this is good. If it's good, I'll make it again next week and I'll film it next week. Tonight's dinner is homemade pet CU. Yeah. Pat see you, Adele <laughs> and Rita mate. It's so it's good. It's very impressive. It's, it's really delicious. so good. It's a 10. It a 10. It's a 10. I'm sad I didn't film it now because it's fucking good. Why'd you film it? I didn't know if it was going to come out good. I was doubting myself. 
Well, you should have just filmed it. Now you guys to make it again. Let's buy a walk. Mmm, it's so good. All packed, ready to go. We're about to drive down. It's 8 p.m., so it's gonna be a late night, but we're gonna head down tonight. Got everything, even my journal and daily stoic in there too. All right, bye, Frank. I'll see you on Friday. We'll see you at the end. Bye, Mum. See you, darling. Safe travels. Bye, Carla. See you, sissy. Have what a you, nice time. What are you making? Just made some eggs. Oh, it's late. Yeah. You didn't want any of my pad seal? No, you didn't. I didn't feel like that. Slimy noodles in my throat. <gasps> <laughs> I made it safe and sound guys. I am really tired. It is late. I had a friend call me the whole drive on the way here So I didn't fall asleep. It is time for bed It's been an early day today and I'm ready to sleep But I need, need to have a shower and wash off this makeup and take off my jewelry and put on my PJs So that's what I'm gonna do and then I'll come back and say goodnight I just had a really nice shower did my skincare brushed my teeth I realize I'm packed like a fuckhead, but it's okay. I also wanted to give you guys an update. I messaged Bowling Boy and I just told him that I think we should stay friends because I noticed that while he was away, like I didn't even miss him or think about him. And I think that was like a pretty clear indication to me that like he's not for me. And I think I've been pretty honest with you guys in the sense that dating has been really hard for me because I've got a lot of anxiety and a very quick rundown. Before the last ex, I dated a certain type of guy. If you lined them up and wrote down all their characteristics, they were all the same. They just had different faces. They look similar too though. And I would say that I was probably attracted to red flags. I then ended up in therapy, did a lot of work to heal. I'm still healing. And the last relationship that I was in was like very green flag. He was very different to all the other guys I dated. And it scared me because he was the polar opposite and like the nice guy. And he woke up one day and just decided that he didn't want to be with me and that he didn't love me anymore. And now I have like this self-fulfilling fear. Like it's, it's, it's me, I'm the problem. It's me, I'm the problem, it's me. Where I think I don't want to go for the red flags because I know how that goes. Now I don't want to go for the green flags because I know how that goes. And I know that that's not healthy and I know that I am avoidant from fear of getting hurt. I'm very self-aware. I know what I'm doing. But then I also think, well, I've done a lot of work to heal and I really gave it a shot with him. Like I really went on like a few, quite a few dates with him and I tried to be quite vulnerable. I tried to slowly open up, which I think I did to a degree. And so I'm grateful for that, but it just wasn't the right fit. And I think maybe I have come further than I thought because I really just wanted to see how I would go with him being away, how I would feel and just how I felt. I think that's a clear indication that he's not for me. And so I still want a partner. I want a boyfriend. I'm going to keep going on dates and maybe I'll keep going on dates and I'll keep having the same pattern repeat where it's me that's the problem. Or maybe I'll meet the right person who doesn't make me feel that way. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe I'm insane. Anyway, I messaged him and I don't think he's replied. Should have messaged him sooner. I should have messaged him on the weekend actually at the start of this vlog. But it is what it is. And we're going to go to bed now because if you can't tell I'm really tired and my eyesight's going blurry and I can't even see you guys properly. But good night from me and these cute butts. Good morning. Guys, I had the best sleep but it is late. It is, what's the time? 9.30 and no, 9am. I realised that I did not fucking bring my walking shoes but luckily my mum has a pair which I'm going to put on now and see if they fit me. But I'm excited. I'm going to go for a quick walk and then I want to quickly run to the shop because I'm not going to have a chance to, like I've got enough for breakfast this morning. I really don't want to Uber Eats everything while I'm here. So I'm going to make an effort to go to the shop and buy some stuff that I can make. Anyway, I don't know what it is, but I slept so much more peacefully here. Like not as scared. For some reason I feel safer here than at my house. I don't freaking know. Maybe it's because it's the ocean. Maybe that's what it is. Anyway, today I actually organized with a friend to come down to the beach with me. I'm going to have a bit of a beach day. I'll edit in the late afternoon and at night because honestly after yesterday I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it wasn't a very good start to the year. Like the first campaign I do I fuck it up and it's completely my fault and I just feel so bad for the client. I feel so bad for my manager because I put her in that position and like if I told the mistake to any of you, you would be like, oh it's not that big of a deal but it is to like a creator and so unfortunately I'm an idiot. I'm trying to be nice to myself but I just need like a break and also I recorded four podcasts yesterday like fuck and then I drove down here at midnight so I'm a bit exhausted you can probably hear it in my voice I actually need a coffee so badly that's what we're gonna do all right let's hope mum's shoes fit me hang on they do Look at these cute little blue ones thank you mum all right I'll see you guys when I get back <laughs> my god I'm sweating I'm also keeping all the blinds down because I don't want there to be I don't want it to get too hot in here and so that's why I'm doing that I don't really like that angle maybe I can put you guys there all right uh what am I looking for I don't know where anything is oh yes 
bowl. I'm going to make my breakfast. Like I said, I bought enough. Look how I packed my fruit and my muesli. I bought enough just for like this morning and then I'll go to the shop after I eat. I'm annoyed because I don't have my spoon, but it's still good. Also going to do a quick journal dump, read my daily stoic and then head to the shop and then we'll get into some editing. Oh, actually, no. I think I'm just going to edit later. I'm not going to start this morning because I'm going to meet my friend down at the beach this afternoon. Outfit change. It is 11 a.m. now and I am not doing any editing yet. I don't know why I said that I was. I'm giving myself a little bit of a break. I'm going to do it after the beach so i'm just gonna head down i need to take the umbrella as well which is gonna be a big hoot because i don't know how the fuck to set that up but let's go also look at these very cute drawings with chalk so so cute it's a beautiful day out here today guys so excited i'm sweating we just walked to bp got a toasty and a calippo i'm just waiting for Luz. i'm fully sweating she's over there <laughs> All right, I am doing some work on the beach, guys. I've got my laptop, I've got a Sprite. The beach is not super packed now, it's about 5 p.m. I am gonna go for another swim before calling the swimming for the day. I do need to get to the shop because I haven't done that yet. And I'm happy because I've got one podcast episode edited. I've got three more to go. I wanna finish them all this week so I can give myself, not a rest next week, but just so I can manage my time better. I feel like that's something I really struggled with last year, so it's a focus for me this year. But today has been so lovely. Really nice to catch up with my friend. I appreciate spending good quality time with people and that was really nice. We had good combos. Had a beautiful sandwich from the servo for lunch, which was a vibe. And I don't know what I'm going to get for dinner. Maybe we go shopping and see if we can get some food for dinner. And then maybe Uber Eats and come back and watch the sunset. That could be the play. 7pm, I finally left the beach. My hair is ratty as fuck. But, Dramana Hub, I'm coming to get some food. This is my favourite shopping centre. I am probably going to make a TikTok in there tonight. So I won't take you in there today, but I will take you in there tomorrow because it's chef's kiss it's beautiful but i will give you a little haul when i get home i need to buy some lunch some breakfast stuff and whatever else so let's go yeah in the little fridge we have i bought milk yogurt a dip berries cheese i bought some crackers i just bought enough for myself for the next couple of days and then mum and dad are coming down here on the weekend so they can have the rest of that and let me show you my dinner it's this from aston lucas gourmet it just says to pierce that pop it in the microwave which will do and hopefully it's good i am pleasantly surprised because it is Fucking delicious. Look at how good that looks. For a packet meal, it tastes like restaurant quality. So pillowy and fluffy. And I definitely need to drink water, not another Sprite, no sugar. I didn't finish my water today. Come to watch the sunset and I'm bringing you guys with me. Probably my favorite part about staying down here is being able to watch the sunrise or watch the sunset. Can't go wrong with it. I don't know if this is doing it justice, but it looks fucking beautiful, guys. Oh my God. I need to live near the beach. What the hell? The sunset is done. Time to shower and get into PJs. Ready for bed. <laughs> okay, so I literally rinse my hair with cold water and then I put the Olaplex oil through it and it's wet. I do have a hair dryer in here, but I'm not going to do that because it's quite warm still. So I might sit outside while it air dries, edit my daily vlog and then get that ready. I kind of want to post it tonight. I kind of want to go back to posting my daily vlogs on the day. I think now's a good time to start. Good night, guys. I am going to head to bed. I posted my daily vlog and I'm just so grateful, like so grateful that I can come here. Grateful firstly for my mom and dad because this is theirs <laughs> and they just let me come down here. I've come down here before. Do you remember last year when I was working my corporate job, I came down here, I did the same thing. I would like swim on my lunch break <laughs> or swim after work. I know I'm very privileged to be able to come here. I'm really grateful to do what I do for a job. I'm really grateful that I can do it remotely and I don't take it for granted. And even today editing on the beach, I was just like, pinch me because I could do it without the guilt. I think last year when I came here, I was still working for someone else and I think I definitely maybe swum a little bit longer on my lunch break or maybe finished at like 4 30 and I felt a bit guilty but it was nice today to know that I'm my own boss I make the rules just grateful like my heart is really full and I know I say it a lot but I truly am so grateful for you guys so thank you thank you thank you thank you and I hope that I have a good night's sleep tonight I'm gonna get into bed now it's like 10 past 10 so we are on track for a good night's sleep and I'm gonna try and do the sunrise tomorrow of course I'll bring you with me good morning it's 6 30 I slept right here and I was really cold last I need a coffee and then we're going for a walk. I'm happy that I didn't wake up at nine o'clock today. We're getting better. I always have one good day, one shit day, <laughs> but we're getting better. Much better. I feel like I've made it differently in this cup because the dimension of the cup is different.
No, I freaking nailed it. Back to life, guys. Got me active wear on. I've got sunnies on, my jewelry on. We're gonna go for a walk. It is 7.15. So hopefully I can be back by like 8.15. That way I can have breakfast, get get into everything by like nine o'clock. It is very overcast today. So it's perfect because that was what I was planning to do. Edit while the weather is poop and then swim when it's nice. All right, I will see you when I get back from the walk. Back from the walk. I went and bought these bread rolls from this bakery because I'll do like tuna sandwiches. I am gonna make brekkie now, which we have fresh berries we have yogurt so happy and then we'll eat outside do my journaling and then we'll get into some work the clouds are clearing but my plan is edit a podcast once i edit it i can go for a swim then come back edit another one go for a swim that's how i'm gonna do it today the morning sun is hitting my face Got my brekkie. It's weird not leaning down and letting Franklin have a blueberry or lick the yogurt. He's fine. I'm the one with separation anxiety. Straight into editing now, guys. So I'll come back when I'm done with this potty. Okay, so it's lunchtime. It is 12.48. I've come down here. I have edited another podcast episode. I thought it would be really nice, but let me show you the conditions. It's so windy. I feel like the umbrella's about to take off and I don't even feel safe to swim because it's so choppy. There's like a couple people in the water over there and maybe down there but like no one's swimming here i don't know guys i don't know how i feel about this i might just like eat go for a swim and then go back up because this is not it i even packed my lunch oh the wind has finally calmed down i put the laptop away my eyes are getting quite sore because it's so glary now and so i'm gonna wrap up editing for this part of the day i might edit later tonight after i have dinner i'm putting on sunscreen and i'm about to go swim it's my first time going out in the sun it's 3 p.m so let's go back at my one true love richie's iga here in dramana we're gonna get dinner this is the time i sat on the beach basically that entire time i did do a tiktok live and then midway through the live this guy's like are you an influencer and i was like well i'm at the beach with a tripod and then he's like what's your tiktok it was cringe i was not embarrassed embarrassment is a state of mind i choose to not feel it okay i don't really have any shame doing that in public i literally took my tripod to the freaking beach and was on live multiple times today and then i stayed on live while i was packing up because i thought he would come over and he didn't come over and then i was gonna leave the beach so i got off the live and he came over as i was leaving i was like fuck i should have stayed on the live and he had had so many he was really drunk he'd had a lot of drinks he kept like trying to like touch my hand and stuff he's like what's your tiktok what's your tiktok i like your tattoos are you staying here who are you weird do you have any friends it was just fucking weird and i had that thought i knew he was gonna do that i should have stayed on the live anyway we're gonna get dinner now that's a car we're gonna go into iga i'm so excited i don't know what to get i like the pasta but it was quite heavy and then i felt a bit ugh this morning so i don't know but let's go have a look dinner haul i got a sashimi pack and i got this that looks to be cucumber to me i don't think there's avo in there i hope there's not and it came with soy and wasabi some chopsticks and i got this and I really want to eat outside. Sorry, I don't know why I came in here, but let's go outside. I ate my sushi outside. I didn't film. It was really hard because, like, there's kids screaming and whatnot. But I'm going to go watch the sunset. I'm trying to love this. I just can't. I don't know if it's because it's soda, if I need the vodka one. But I just, it's, like, really sour. Not really enjoyable. But I can see the vision. So I'm going to try the vodka ones and hope that they're better. Let's go watch the sunset. I was going to say sunrise. And then I don't know what to do with my hair because it's looking ratty as fuck. But we'll have a shower and sort it out. Crocs fighting for their life. Look at them shooting at the... <laughs> Look at that. Not as nice as last night. Last night was better. I don't know how it looks in this camera, but here is the sunset. <laughs> People are still in the water. I love that for them. I could never. I'm actually cold. I've got goosebumps. <laughs> Showered. I've put my hair in a slick bun. That's how it's going to have to stay until tomorrow. Also having this Chobani key lime pie. Big sleigh. Uh, I'm tired, guys. Sitting in the sun does make you sleepy. But the podcast is all ready to go tomorrow. Sunday's one's all ready to go. I'm feeling relaxed. I am so relaxed when I come here. I'm so grateful. I was walking today along the main strip and there was a house for sale and so I took a photo and I screenshot the sold sticker on it and someone replied to my story saying, did you buy another house? I was like, no, I, I, I drew it on. But I'm manifesting. I'm definitely in no way, shape or form financially able to afford a house in this area. It's minimum like 1.2 mil. I don't have that money, guys. But it's like my life goal. I would like to retire here, I think. I don't know. I just don't think, could I live down here full time? I don't know. I worry that it'd be too quiet. It's not like the Gold Coast where it's like hustle and bustle. And I'm like, do I really want to live in the Gold Coast? I just need to be near the beach. <gasps> you guys would probably see how like, not different, but I just feel like me, like I just, like my soul is just like peaceful. I don't know. For now, I'll just do day trips and week like trips like this or a few, a few days trips. That doesn't even make sense. But I needed it, so I'm really happy that I came. Good night, guys. I will see you in the morning. I am trying to, going to try and go to bed early. It's 10 o'clock, so 
see you tomorrow. Good morning, happy Friday, and happy last day of the vlog, guys. <sighs> I had the best sleep. I fucking, I've slept so good here, and I think it's just so fascinating compared to how I was sleeping at home. I don't know. I just feel, I feel very calm here. I feel very peaceful here, but um, you can see I've already had a coffee. I've already got my activewear on. We're gonna head out. Here's activewear vibe, and my mum's shoes. Bless her. She's the best. When I was like, fuck, I left my walking shoes. She's like, I've got some. I was like, love you, mum. Love ya. But let's head off. I think I'll come back to life after the walk. I'm well rested and the coffee was good, but you know when you're just like mm, a bit sleepy? Maybe it's because I've been in the sun. I'm not sure. But anyway, let's head off for the walk and then we'll come back and get into work because it's really overcast today. Like there's no sun right now and it's eight o'clock. So I did sleep in. My walk is done. I saw the cutest dash hound, guys. It was a little black and tan one and her name was Winnie. So cute. I've got Brecky. We're going to do our journaling. We're going to do our daily stoic and then we are going to get straight into editing. It is really overcast, so there's no chance I'm going in the ocean right now. I reckon it's gonna be the same. I reckon by the time the sun comes out, it'll be windy as fuck down there. And so I think I will do one swim before I head home, but my plan is just to get as much work as I can done today so that I don't have to worry about it on the weekend or like next week, because I'm, I'm doing something really exciting next week and I do have a busy like event thing happening. So trying to be an organized queen. These are the berries that I bought from that Dramana IGA, the Richie's one. And they are so fresh and tasty. I think I might even go back before I head home just to buy some because what the hell? I don't get these at Coles and Woolies. The quality is so much better. So peaceful here. Brecky is done. Journaling is done. I got um, a hate comment on one of my vlogs yesterday. I just saw it now and I was going to make a video but I was like, no, that's what they want. It's the energy that they want. They want to know that like you saw it. I did reply to the comment, but I'm not going to give them the satisfaction of a whole video. And I feel like it's always the same person. I haven't told you guys, but I continue get this hate comment or this hate account and it's different accounts because I end up blocking them on your safe space which is really odd I never get hate there and the person is writing like very specific things and I actually think it's someone I know which grosses me out a little bit but like every time they will message me it's like written in the exact same way and the things that they mention are the exact same things and they're very personal things that I haven't put online so I'm like it's got to be someone close to me which is fucking weird and gross but anyway we're not giving the haters energy in 2023 I choose peace I choose peace. <laughs> Ready for the beach, guys. I haven't even sat in the sun that much and I am very, 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 very tanned. <laughs> Not on purpose, please remember that. I stay in the shade, I wear 50 plus. I never want to promote sun, like unsafe sun behavior. Anyway, I'm starting to get nerves for said date tonight. I am going to head down to the beach now. It is lunchtime. I've just made myself a roll. I've packed up everything. Mum and dad are coming down here tonight. I will drive home at about 2 p.m. I just want to eat lunch on the beach, swim, and then head back home so I can get ready, go to the date I didn't even bring anything to leave from here like to wash my hair or my makeup or anything like that and I also don't think my sister's home so I didn't want Franklin to be by himself but let's head down to the beach take you with me my roll is in the fridge so let's get that and then let's head off I use the last of the cling wrap I just text mom I was like oh my god I use your glad wrap and she's like it's okay oh I'll buy some more I'm like all right thank you oh and bad angle I've got my new bikinis on sorry my tan lines very inappropriate but it's very flattering on the girls it's this beautiful pinky color anyway let's go down to the beach day two in my croc era i'm obsessed it's very quiet today there's barely anyone on the beach i don't know if you can see that far back guys but there's not a lot of people down here it is really hot tuna roll i also don't have the umbrella because i'm gonna go for a swim and then leave so that's my plan today not to spend too much time out here i regret saying yes to my date tonight I should have made it another day because I'm probably gonna come back here tomorrow. Anyway, it is what it is, it'll be good. I think I'm getting nervous. <laughs> I'm sad. I don't wanna leave. I had to leave the beach because I didn't have an umbrella and I was getting really hot. And I'm gonna leave in like five minutes, so. I did swim though. Maybe it makes my hair look a little bit better considering it's so fucking dirty. I can't wait to wash it and get in the shower. If I leave now, I'll get home by like 3.30. Plenty of time to get ready for my 7.30 p.m. date. I'm nervous as fuck. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> My mum's on a phone call. So happy to be home. So happy. Uh, yes, I just undid my shorts because I went to the bathroom. But look who's here in the sunshine. Mwah. It's Mr. Franklin. It's Mr. Franklin. And Carla. <laughs> Did you guys miss me? Yes. Did you miss me? He's like, mum, I don't care. This is how much he loves the sun, guys. Couldn't care less about me. He only cares for the sunshine. Do you want to move to the Gold Coast? Do you want to go? Not red. You got a red face. 
Yeah, because it's hot. No. Yes. Yeah, what's, what's in that bag? You can't see. Not advertising any of that. Cheeky little shit. Oh. Did you say hello to Franklin? Oh, hello, Franklin. Come He's here. He's growling at you. Come here, big buddy. You know, last <laughs> night, that's how we were sleeping, face to face. I thought I tossed and turned. You turned more than me. Did he sleep in your bed? Did on no crap. I woke up, I don't know, so I could <gasps> fuck him. His nose was like this to me on the pillow. Oh, he's like a human. No, but he did about 100 moves in about 10 minutes, I reckon. <laughs> Felt so good washing my hair. And I realised I need to do makeup tonight and I don't know if I'm going to have a fucking foundation that's dark enough. Life hack, get some samples when you're tanned of darker foundation shades. Because I'm not tanned in the winter. I'm, I'm pasty. I embrace my paleness. Obviously in summer I get quite olive because of my background. <laughs> so <laughs> annoying. I'm going to have to bronze the fuck out of my face. And yes, I know some of you are like, wear no makeup, because I practically could. However, look at the state of my eyebrows. See all this hair? I'm not doing them right now. I can't be fucked. So we're covering them with concealer. Do you guys remember when that um, makeup artist at Makeup matched me in NARS light reflecting and she matched me to the shade Barcelona? I don't have the sample, but that would have been a perfect match right now. Anyway, feels good to have washed hair. I will fix the makeup situation. Okay, this is the darkest foundation I have. It's an Estee Lauder Double Wear. I know it looks really fucked. I'm going to set it with bronzer, not pressed powder, and we're going to work with this. I really like this foundation though. Not ever used it before. I got it gifted to me. I feel like I need to go and get a sample in my actual shade and try it again because this is going on so beautifully. Okay, I'm looking more alive. Bye! It's not a blind date. He's, so, he's from Hinge, guys. It's not a blind date. What's Hinge? It's a dating app. Really? You don't Goodbye. Know app. Goodbye. So you don't know app. Goodbye. See you, Franklin. They've gone to the beach. My face is kind of lighter. I feel like this lighting is all right. I don't know if I'm showing up pale on the camera. On the cameras. I look okay in real life. Calm down. <gasps> in other news, I did buy two pairs of shoes as well. That's the washing machine. I will put them on and I'll show you because they are both so cute. I just have to spray them first. They're from Betts. They are the Eclipse Black and the Eclipse Mocha. And I got a size 8. Okay, so I did end up wearing this dress and I just can't decide what shoes. See how cute they are? I feel like the shoes that are basically the exact same color go a bit better. I wanted to be casual. The dress material feels dressy, but maybe I do go, not the black. Maybe I go this. I'm sweating. Maybe I go that. I don't know, guys. I don't know. All right, guys, we are off. I feel like I'm vomiting, like, big time. Dates make me so anxious, but we've got this. We've got this. All right, guys, I'm parked. I'm going to go. I'm running a bit late. I'll see you after. I'm really nervous. All right, guys, date is over. I'm going to head home now. It is, what's the time? Nearly 11. It's been a late one. I need to buy a toothbrush because I got rid of my one that I took to the beach. It was just not, not it. So we're going to stop it. We'll worse on the way home. The date was good. I'll give you a better update when I'm home. I've non-stop been talking and it was really loud in there. So I was like yelling at him and that's why I'm losing my voice. But um, date update coming in the next clip. <laughs> I'm in the car just jamming. I got my toothbrush. I got my toothbrush. Let's go in. I'm going to wrap the vlog and I'll give you a date update. All right, guys. I just took that earring out. I don't know why I did that. I'm home. You know that because I was just jamming in the car. But it was a good date. That was a hinge date. My first hinge date and my first date of 2023 i'm actually going to keep track of all my dates on a um spreadsheet <laughs> this year so i can compare the data because this is operation find a husband anyway the date was good i would say i think he is a private person so i don't want to give away too much details but i'll just say he is hinge man number one and yeah the convo flowed it was very casual vibes which i liked i get a lot of anxiety being out in public anyway but he was like a very calm energy which was good and i didn't dissociate which i haven't really told you guys but when i usually go on dates that's what happens and so i've been on two dates now where that hasn't happened tonight and the date with the guy in sydney so that's a positive sign because if you've experienced dissociation you would know how yucky it feels you would know how you want to like stop it but it's really hard to when it's happening to you in the moment but yeah it was a good date he's already messaged me to say i hope you got home safely which we love. It was actually really funny because when we got there, we arrived at the same time outside. So there was like no anxiety, like waiting at the table or he didn't have to wait for me or I didn't have to wait for him. So it was really good timing. And yeah, I think there will be a second date because he mentioned that. So I will go on a second date and we'll go from there. The combo was very like shallow first date vibes. Dig a little deeper on date two. All right, guys. Good night. Thank you for spending this week with me. I appreciate your support so much. I... 
am so grateful to have a job like this where I get to create content and make podcasts and have the best community in the freaking world. I cannot do this without you guys and I'm just really grateful for the beautiful week that I had and I really needed just to get down to the beach. So I'm glad that I did and I loved how you guys were so supportive of me the whole week. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I want that to be a little reminder to you if you feel like you need a break, if you feel like you just need to change your environment, if you feel like you need to take a sick day, if you feel like you need to, I don't know, if you feel like you need to do something for yourself, fucking do it. Because that's what I did this week and I'm so glad I did. I'm in bed, makeup all washed off. I love that rice wash, by the way. Huge fan. I'm going to get a monthly favorites video out probably next week and that'll be in it. But I've also got my lip oil on, all my moisturizer. I've desperately got to do my brows, which I will do. <laughs> but good night. And little Franklin also says good night. He's in his deep, deep dreams. <laughs> I will see you next week. Bye guys.